um, these intimate shows is that it's intimate. <laughs> a lot better in my head. I'm a little jet lagged still. Actually, somebody tweeted to me, they're like, I don't know if you're, I don't think you're jet lagged anymore. I think it's because you played a show at two in the morning. <laughs> at G-A-Y? How many of you guys were there? That was amazing. That really was, was so much fun. Um, I just want to take a second to sit and chat with you. isn't normally big, like it's not big enough for me to like go and, and act all crazy and you know be all over the stage and stuff but I don't know there's something cozy about this show. I also feel like um I think I don't know because maybe it was because I was up late last night I don't know um my voice is really tired tonight and so I'm gonna need you don't mind to help me sing as loud as you can. And also, I see so many phones up. You know, as incredible as that is, who's gonna actually go back and watch it? Justin Timberlake concert, or concert, and I filmed videos, and then I realized I missed so much of the concert. Like I wasn't enjoying it in the moment because I was watching it on my phone as I was filming it. And I actually, as much as I love them, I was, I'm just the type of person that had more fun watching it in concert than I actually did on my phone. So if you think you're that type of person too, put the phone down. enough and crazy enough to know. I'm going to do something that I've never done at a show before. It's possibly dangerous. And possibly quite a lot of fun. So I'm going to need you guys, in, in order to show me that you are crazy enough, I have to see you jumping up and down and singing every word as loud as you can. the type of song to go all up and go crazy for, but um, I've, I've met so many of my fans that have told me, hold on, <laughs> see I try to get all like sentimental and shit and then like, I can't because you know they're not me, um, I'm cursed because I'm going to go for it. Every time one of you tell me that, um, that I've made a difference in your life, it means a lot to me. And I met a girl today in my meet and greet that, her name was Chloe, and she, <laughs> your name's Chloe too? Um, she's like, no, my name's Diane. Um, now I'm a stand-up comedian apparently. I talk more at my concerts than I sing. Um, she walked to me for the very first time in 18 years because she suffers from cerebral palsy. So round of applause for her. There you are. And you know what that represents to me? That represents strength. When I'm having a bad day or I'm tired or anything like that, I think about you guys and I think about how inspiring you are. And if this girl can walk to me for the very first time in 18 years, I can get through my day, no matter how hard it is. And I've gotten through a lot through my life, through self-harm, through bullying, eating disorders, mental illness. I've, I've gone through a 
lot, and I've gotten through it. And I may not have cerebral palsy, but I relate to you because everyone has their own struggle, and everyone can get through that struggle physically, emotionally, mentally. And um, I'm just going to church right now. Everyone can get through that struggle if they put their heart and soul into it and they realize that they are worth the happiness and the healthiness and that they're worth life, you know? That they don't, you, don't have to spend, you don't have to spend your life miserable or depressed or self-medicating or anything like that. Um, you can actually spend it happy, which is something I didn't realize I could do when I was 12 years old, 13. Even all the way up to when I went into treatment, I didn't realize I could do that. And I actually just thought it would never be possible, but it is possible. And happiness is a choice. So for anybody that's, you know, that's... Sometimes it's easier to sit and sulk and live in the depression than it is to get up and get out. But happiness is a choice, and you deserve that choice. So choose it for yourself. Whoever needed to hear it could be, could be you, could be this guy. He's not listening. Friend, pay attention to me. Are you laughing at me and you're not even looking at me? He is so serious right now. really uplifting and emotional song and I'm not going to cry anymore because I'm really, really proud of myself. And I met a girl today who walked to me and um, that, did, that story is something I'll never forget so thank you for sharing that moment in your life with me. This is for you. Warriors in this audience. Tonight.